सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू प्लेसमेंट रेडी इन दिस सीरीज वी विल बी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द डे गीक्स फॉर गीक्स विच इज क्यूरेटेड सेट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर आस्ड ऑन डे वाइज बेसिस सो टूडे इज ट्वेंटी एट एंड दिस सोल्यूशन विल बी कमिंग आउट आफ्टर द डे राइट लाइक इफ द प्रॉब्लम हैज बीन आज ऑन ट्वेंटी एट the answer will be coming out on 29 so if you guys are interested in solving this you can watch the solution out on the next day okay so today is 28th and the problem is count triplets so let's read the problem statement out so basically here it is written given a sorted linked list of distinct nodes right which means no two nodes have the same data and an integer x we have to find the number of triplets which sum up to x right so if you observe the sample test case here so the link list is 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the target is 17 so we need to find the number of triplets which sum up to 17 right so here if we give see the explanation so in the explanation it is written the triplet 2 6 9 and the triplet 4 5 8 which have sum equal to x that is 17 right so total triplets are this is the first triplet and this is the second triplet so our output should be 2 right similarly in the second test case we have total 5 triplets and we have to print the output as 5 so if you observe the expected time complexity for this problem is order of n square and the expected auxiliary space is order of n right so let's see how can we solve this problem out so basically you are given a linked list right so let's see a sample test case so 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 so, i hope this is the sample test case 1 so 1 2 4 5 6 8 9 and x is equal to 17 right so what we can do here right we have been given that you can use a auxiliary space of order of n right so extra space is allowed basically so we can store the value of these nodes in a vector or a array right let's say we take a vector and we can store these values so how can we store these values we will require a temporary pointer which will first point to the head of the linked list then by moving this temporary pointer we can store the data one by one so let's see in order to do that what we can do we can declare a temporary pointer which we which will be initialized to head and while this temporary pointer is not equal to null we will be pushing the data into the vector so basically we dot push back tempero data so what it will do the vector will contain the all the values present in the linked list right so that's fine now in order to calculate the triplets the brute force approach you can use here is that you can run three loops right so basically we have three loops i will be running from 0 to n minus 2 or uh, you can say n minus 3 and then j will be running from 0 to n minus 2 and we can have another loop inside this j loop which is k equal to 0 to n minus 1 right when i say n minus 3 then less than equal to n minus 3 right so in this way we can check if array of i plus array of j plus array of k is equal to our target then it is sure that we have got one of the answers right i hope that is making sense so we can increment our answer but if you observe we are taking three loops right one loop is inside another loop so basically the expected time complexity here will be order of n cube but the question is demanding that we should have a time complexity of order of n square so let's see the optimal approach so as in the optimal approach we are allowed to use a space of order of n so what we can do we can store the data in a vector right then what we can do 
we can simply sort this vector out so you can sort v dot begin and v dot end right so this will help you to sort the vector now what you can do let's say uh, i am running it on a smaller input let's say one two three four six and the required sum which we need to make is nine okay so we will start our pointer i from here right and what we will do here like we will be requiring two pointers basically j and let's say k okay or you can name it as let's say start or end for better clarity so s or e right so in the first uh, case like when i is equal to zero what you can do you can have start at one and end is equal to four so you can add one plus two plus six so it sum up to nine right so what you will do you will increment s and you will decrement e so now s will be incremented and e will be decremented so e will be here and s will be here now you will add again 1 plus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 8 so now in this case what you will do you will try to maximize the sum right so basically you will try to maximize the sum so now our sum is 8 in order to maximize the sum you know one thing that your array is sorted so what you will do you will try to increment s then only your, your sum will increase right so you will try to increment s now as soon as the s reach e we can't take three elements right so s and e will be pointing to the same element so in that case we will be allowed to take only one out of this and this so that will not form a triplet and our while loop will stop so basically you can observe like the condition for the inner loop will be s less than equal to or basically s less than e right it should not be equal to because in that case we will not be able to form our triplet right i hope that is making sense now in the second uh, time what will happen i will be incremented to one right and you will start your s from i plus one so s will start from here and e will be here now again the same thing 2 plus 3 plus 6 which is equal to 11 now in this case you can observe like our sum is greater than the target so you need to decrement the sum so what you will do you will now try to shift e backward right so what will happen when you try to shift e backwards you know your array is sorted and if you try to decrement the value of e pointer your sum will decrease right so that will make sense like you are trying to have the value of sum smaller so okay no problem e will be here in the next case now again you will add 2 plus 3 plus 4 so which is equal to 9 right now this is equal to our target so our we have get, got another answer which is equal to 2 3 4 so this is another answer so answer will be incremented right now next time i will be here s will be here so basically let me rub it out so i will be here s will be here and e will be here so 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 6 is 13 so that is greater than our target sum so we will try to decrement e but as soon as you try to decrement e you your s and e will collide and this while loop will not execute and now our i has reached n minus 2 right sorry n minus 3 and now our execution will stop so i hope in this way you have understood how can we calculate what should be the number of triplets right so this approach takes order of n log n for sorting plus n square because this loop simply runs from s to e and the outer loop runs outside right so 
that is roughly n square so order of n log n plus n square right so this can be written as order of n square so our time complexity which was expected is achieved now and our space complexity of order n is also uh, getting achieved in this solution so let's see the implementation right so the first step was to store the data so let me declare a vector and a temporary pointer which will be pointing to head right now while my temp is not equal to null what i need to do i need to store the data we do v dot pushback temp arrow data into my vector and temp will be incremented which is written as temp equal to temp arrow next so that for the next data is available to be stored in the vector so in this way we can store the values in our vector right now the next step was to sort this vector so sort v dot begin v dot end now int i equal to 0 will be the starting point and while my i is less than n minus 2 what you can do you can have a start which will be equal to i plus 1 and end will be at n minus 1 but before using n let me store the value of n so int n equal to v dot size so while s is less than e what you can do int current will be equal to v of i plus v of s plus v of e right and now you will check if current is equal to x or not if it is the case your answer will be incremented and s will be incremented as well as e will be decremented right otherwise if current is less than x what you will do you will try to maximize the sum right which is which is stored in current or uh, so basically in this case s will be incremented or the else case is if current is greater than x so in that case you will try to decrement your answer right and finally once the execution of this loop is over what you will do you will try to increment the value of i right and finally when this i loop gets executed you will try to like uh, you can return your answer simply so let me have a answer variable int answer is equal to zero right so i hope the implementation part is clear and let's run this so it is getting giving correct answer on our sample test case right so let us submit this and we are getting a correct answer right so i hope the solution and the problem statement is clear and the brute force approach as well as optimal approach is clear right thanks for watching this video and we will meet again in the next video where we will be solving the problem of the day question in the next video so like if you have watched this video and if you have liked this video please subscribe to our channel right and we will be coming up with more videos in future thanks for watching